Everybody's wondering where I got that from. Well, here it is in the book. Valve clearance adjustment. Number one, PDC. And then uh, set the filler gauge, blah, blah, blah. All right, so here it is. Rotate 180 degrees. Okay. Check cylinder number three. This is the second step. Okay, so we're at the third step now. Rotate 180 degrees. There we go. So each time you do it, you rotate it 180. Oh, in case anybody was wondering, now each time you turn the crankshaft 180, well, you don't get 180 at the cam, okay? If everybody's wondering what's going on here, all right? It's only turning 90 degrees each time. Uh, I think it says it on here. Yep, there it is right there. Yep, the camshaft pulley turns only 90. Okay, got it. Okay, so this cylinder number four, that's one of the ones that's in pretty bad shape. Obviously, we've got better than 15% on number three, so let's see how number four does. I've got it set up. <clears throat> on 100 PSI. Now that gauge isn't working very good, so I ordered some more gauges. Sorry. Anyway, we'll get it on this one here. We'll get it. It'll be alright. Alright, so there we go. This one here is pretty close to the same. It's right at around 80. Now you can hear the air going into the crankcase system. There we go. Now, I knew that this was messed up. And this is just a time to demonstrate and, and learn for folks that need to check it out. But that's what we got going on. All right, so we'll turn it again, counterclockwise, 180 degrees. See, now that's 90, right there. Get it over to 180. Have a good look at it, because that's pretty close. Wrench is telling me the tail not too hard to figure out but also you'll note we're on cylinder number two now and I'll do one more 180 and it'll be cylinder number one at TDC so that means we did this right for a change right okay so I set it up at a hundred this is cylinder number two and as you can see it's in much better shape see cylinder number two was at 180 all right so what do we got this gauge is a little hard to read, but I would say it's about 90, 90 something PSI, somewhere in that range. So, we got a little bit better of a deal here, right at 10%. 10% is the limit. Okay, so that's, that's how it is. That's how we can tell what the conditions of our cylinders are. Uh, we got 10%, got 5%, these two are bad. I am going to change these pistons out and I'll update the video later with another one. Y'all have a good day. Alright, bye.